Hey Bibliophiles, I'm Kelly. It's Emma. I'm Red. It's Brittany. I'm Cassie. I'm Sierra. I'm Selena. Yay for the biannual Bibliothon! Hey nerds, what's up? So today is day five of the Summer Biannual Bibliothon 2015. And today we are doing Draw My Life as a Character. Today my character is going to be Tally Youngblood from the Ugly series, which means that there are going to be some spoilers for, for Uglies, Pretties, and Specials by Scott Westerfeld. My name is Tally Youngblood and I have survived the world of changes. Let us begin. I was born to my parents, Ellie and Soul Youngblood, and just like everyone else, I lived with them in New Pretty Town until I turned 12 and moved into Uglyville with all the other Uglies. That's where I met Paris. He was my best friend and we were only three months apart. We did everything together, including tricking our houseminder to think we were in bed and asleep so we could sneak out and try to get into New Pretty Town. When Paris turned 16, he left to New Pretty Town and made promises that he would visit me all the time. That didn't happen. I met a girl named Shay and she was willing to take even more risks than Paris and I ever thought of. Shay was always questioning how the city ran things. She didn't like all the rules and didn't want to have the surge and turn pretty. She told me about friends who had left the city to live in the wild and how we should follow their lead. She knew of a place called the Rusty Ruins where supposedly runaways could go and meet people to take them to camps outside the city. So we went. There were clues in the Rusty Ruins on how to get to a place called the Smoke where a boy named David that Shane knew of would meet us and take us in. I was skeptical of this adventure and really wanted to turn pretty, so I made Shay go alone. But then I met Dr. Cable, and instead of letting me have the surge to turn pretty, she threatened me that if I didn't give her information on the smoke, then she would never let me turn pretty. So I followed Shay. And I met David. We fell in love, which was a problem. He loved Shay first, and Shay hated me for it, which made Shay's and my friendship dissolve almost completely. I decided I didn't want to leave the smoke. I was okay with not turning pretty as long as I got to be with David. And then Dr. Cable showed up. It turned out to be my fault that she did. I wanted to prove I was here to stay and destroyed my tracker pendant. But instead of destroying it, that set off an alarm which made Dr. Cable show up and destroy the smoke. I became a pretty with friends who were caught in the smoke. I rekindled my friendship with Paris and we and all other pretties were happy people with no cares in the world and easily controllable. Our group, the Crims, liked to take risks. We wanted to be sharper, see the world more in focus. The surge to turn pretty includes lesions in the brains, and we were fighting those lesions before we even knew they existed. But we found a cure. It was two pills, and the people from the smoke snuck into the city to give it to me. You see, I gave myself up to the city to become a pretty and test the cure. I wrote myself a letter before I turned pretty for the Smokies to bring to me with the pill when they came back to save the group from the city. I wanted to save myself, and all of us. A boy named Zane was one of the crims who had been at the smoke in the past, who I was now dating in New Pretty Town, and we were supposed to all leave with him. While our escape plan was in action, Zane and I shared the cure, one pill each. I couldn't let him do it alone, and I was afraid to take them without someone else doing it with me. The plan was a mess. Shay was left behind, Paris last minute wasn't willing to go, and the time it took me for me to realize I, I wouldn't convince him left me separated from the rest of the crims. Instead, I jumped into the wild and decided to get there myself. When I woke, I eventually found that I was inside an experimental area. People lived here and weren't subjected to the surge or anything like that. The city used this contained area to observe human nature without any modern electronics, technologies, medicines, anything. I met a man named Andrew Simpson Smith and found that the people thought of pretties as gods, or at least the pretties they encountered, and he helped me survive while I waited and planned to leave. I managed to get out of the reservation... That was essentially walled by some sort of device that attacks your nervous system if you get too close, by stealing the Observer's hover car when he visited the next week. When I finally met up with the Crims and the other Smokies, I found out that the pills aren't safe when you take only one. The first pill destroys the lesions that causes pretty brain, and the second stops the first from destroying anything more. I basically never received the cure, and Zane's cure never stopped. Once again, things went to shit. There was a tracker inside Zane that we couldn't remove, and I wouldn't leave him alone to be caught by the specials and run off with everyone. I hadn't been cured, so I knew the specials and Dr. Cable couldn't turn me back to pretty, so I stayed with him while everyone left. Dr. Cable showed up. Again. And then the world crumbled because Shay was there, with Dr. Cable, and she was special. 
She turned me into a special, and I became a part of Shays and Dr. Cable's class of specials, The Cutters. Our focus, our job, and our alliances laid with Dr. Cable and the city. Looking for people to catch selling or distributing the cure, we all crashed a party of uglies, disguised at so as to be undistinguishable. I found a girl giving out the cure, and as I attempted to take her in, I recognized David in the throng of uglies. In the chaos that followed, one of the cutters, Fausto, was captured by the Smokies, and Shay and I were left injured. We found out that the pills weren't just meant for anyone, but were trying to be taken specifically to Zane, who had been in the hospital since we had all been back in the city, but had been moved to New Pretty Town instead of becoming a cutter like I had expected. We went to find him. Zane was cured. He wasn't hazy like a pretty should be, that much was true, but his brain damage from the cure before had destroyed motor skills and made him weak. I hate to admit this now, but I was disgusted by him. In order to get Dr. Cable to make him special, we needed him to prove it, to escape. Of course, he wasn't planning on purposefully giving up the Smokies to us, specials. So we broke into the armory, leaving the city on high alert in order to get Zane to be tracker free. Then we followed him without his knowing, essentially stalking him as he made his way to the new smoke. We found an escort that gave us a pathfinder to the new smoke. No longer needing to follow Zane and his group of friends at their slow pace, Shay took the Pathfinder and went ahead with the rest of the Cutters, and I stayed and followed Zane, making sure he was safe. When I got to the new smoke, it wasn't just Smokies. It was an entire city without pretty lesions, helping cure runaways of lesions and taking them in so they didn't have to go back. There were no rules on what kind of surges people could get. Different skin color, special eyes, anything could pass there. Fausto found me before I found him, and he was cured. Just like I had in the past, he gave consent to be given the cure for the special lesions, and he tried to forcefully cure me, but I ran before he could get a needle into my skin. I hurt myself in my escape too much to be able to completely get away. The Diego authorities found me and helped, and then locked me up because I was considered a dangerous weapon with my special surges. And I was made as a weapon, but that didn't mean I necessarily had a choice in the matter. I was not willingly going to let them change me back to how I was before. Shay somehow managed to get me out of the hospital just before the surge to fix me was supposed to happen. But you see, we had started a war. I guess that's not completely fair. Our city and Diego had been at odds with one another for a long time. We didn't know that, of course, but it is what it is. And when we broke into the armory, we also sort of destroyed it. So they thought Diego had done it and began an attack on the city. In the chaos of the battle, Zane died in surgery in Diego. They were trying to repair the brain damage from the cure. He was so close and yet so far, and I'll carry that fact with me until the day I die. Shay and I helped evacuate the hospital, and then I left without Shay to give myself up. We had destroyed the armory, not Diego, and they would only believe me because Shay's brain was despecialized. Dr. Cable knew it was us, but was too proud of her creations and too hell-bent on a war with Diego that she chose to make this the new reality. In the events that followed finding out this fact, I injected Dr. Cable with the cure for specials, hoping at least that would stop her bloodthirst. The information about what the cutters were, as well as all the specials in my city, came out for the world to see and people weren't happy about it. We're essentially superhumans, strength beyond natural humans' capabilities, our skeletons made of material stronger than metal, and our senses made more sensitive. We were designed for the wild. We were designed to hunt runaways. As a gesture of peace, my city despecialized all of our specials, and I would have been as well, but ironically, Dr. Cable saved me from the operation and helped me escape from the city. Of course, it was all for selfish reasons. She couldn't handle the idea of her special little creations going extinct, and I was the last one that could be saved. David and I have been out here since then, making sure nobody destroys the rest of the wild world now that you're all saved within the cities. And that is the end of my Draw My Life for the Summer Biannual Bibliothon 2015. Make sure to check out today's actual video on our Biannual Bibliothon channel, and that's where you have a chance to win The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a new one.